In this video, I'm going to show you how I added ventilation to my home network closet so my equipment stays cooler, runs more reliably, and lasts longer. You're watching Make Home Tech. Welcome home tech makers. I'm Joe and I love building technology for my house. I've got a closet full of technology, servers, switches, uh, network attached storage. Uh, and I recently figured out that that closet was running way too hot. Over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, close to 40 degrees Celsius, and that's just too much. So to solve this, I added some additional ventilation from my network closet into my central air system using an AC Infinity Cloudline T6 fan. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I did that. Let's get into it. So let's quickly talk about what we're doing to actually solve this heating problem that I've got with the network rack. So currently we've got a network rack that is generating too much heat, uh, over 100 degrees that I've measured and Fahrenheit uh, over the last few days. Uh, so what we're going to do is connect this to my existing uh, central air system. Uh, we're going to do that by putting a duct in between those two things and creating this, uh, putting the Infinity Cloudline T6 fan in between that. Uh, and the fan is going to pull air out of the top of the network closet and push it into the air return for the AC system, which is also pulling in air from the rest of the house. The blower will pull that air through, through the heat exchanger, cool this in the summer or heat it in the winter, depending on what's going on, push that air out to the rest of the house, which will eventually, some of it anyway, uh, go back into the network closet, come and get pulled up again through that fan uh, and cool that network rack again uh, and keep it nice and cool and running reliably. To start this build, I'm gonna install this duct boot into the top of the network closet. That will allow hot air to flow out and keep the equipment nice and cool. To do this, I'll cut a hole in the ceiling drywall that fits this opening. Once that's done, I'll place this boot in the hole I've cut and then secure it with some 2x4s. All right, and with that explanation out of the way, let's get to the build. Okay, now that the duct boot is installed in the attic, I'll go back downstairs and install this air return grill into that boot. I'll attach it by drilling holes through the edge of this face plate. And those screws will go through the lip of the boot and into the two by fours. And that will make sure that the vent grill and the boot stays put. Actually, I don't have any footage of the grill installation. It's extremely tight in the top of that closet and very difficult to shoot there. The vent grill was a tight fit, but I got it installed. Back up to the attic.
rest of this build was pretty simple. Install the temperature controller inside the closet, put the temperature probes inside the cabinet, and plug the whole thing in. So what's the result? Is there enough air getting in into the closet and out of the closet? Is the temperature staying stable? Should I just toss the whole thing out and make an air fryer out of my network closet? Well, I'm happy to report that the whole system is working great. The temperature is staying in a nice stable 80 degrees, you know, plus or minus a couple of degrees, and the whole system is so reliable, I'm getting ready to put some new equipment in that rack. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. For me, the reliability of my home technology is absolutely critical. It's fine to experiment with things and try things out, but if you're constantly babysitting your home tech, it doesn't belong in your home. Make it reliable or make it go away. Thank you so much for watching Make Home Tech. Like and subscribe. And in the meantime, keep learning, keep building, make something great. I'll see you in the next one.